ESLE 2019 Paper 2 Question 17. The first four figures of a pattern are shown below. The table shows the number of white and grey triangles used for each figure. A. Fill in the table for figure 5. B. What is the total number of white and grey triangles in figure 250? C. In figure 250, what percentage of the triangles are grey? Now, we are going to look at the figure itself and we are going to count the white and the grey separately. So, in figure 1, I have 1 and that is purely white. In figure 2, I actually have 1 plus 3. 1 for white, 3 for grey. In figure 3, I have 1 plus 3 plus 5. 1 for white, 3 for grey, 5 white. In figure 4, I have 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7. 1 white, 3 grey, 5 white, 7 grey. By now you would have noticed a pattern. Firstly, when we split them up, we know that we need to add all the odd numbers. Then, for the colours, first we start with white, then you'll be white plus grey, then you'll be white plus grey plus white, and white plus grey plus white, and so on. So it is alternate. So for figure 5, we will have 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9. And 9 being the last one will be white. So all I need to do to find the total number of white triangles, I just need to add 1 plus 5 plus 9. That will get me 15. For grey, I only need to add 3 plus 7. I will have 10. For B, let's create one extra row and we can add the columns so that we are able to see a pattern. If you are familiar with your multiplication table, you will realize that this pattern is actually a square number pattern. Square number pattern means uh, you're using the same number to multiply by itself. So for figure 1, you actually have 1 times 1 to get 1. Figure 2, you have 2 times 2 to get 4. Figure 3, you get 3 times 3 to get 9. Figure 4, 4 times 4, you get 16. Figure 5, 5 times 5, you get 25. And it so happens that the numbers you use to multiply also correspond with the figure number. With this, we should be able to find the total for figure 250. We need to use 250 to multiply by 250. We will get 62,500. To calculate the total number of grey triangles, we must work out the difference between the number of white and the number of grey triangles. We shall therefore create another row so that we are able to work on the difference. Time. In the first column, you are actually using white to minus grey because we have more white than grey. But for figure 2, you need to use grey to minus white because there are now more grey than white. Moving on to figure 3, it comes back to more white than grey again and so you need to use white to minus grey. The pattern continues and you'll find that the difference actually is exactly the same as the figure number. For all the odd numbers, you will find that there's more white than grey. And for all the even numbers, there are more grey than white. Now, we are calculating for figure 250. And figure 250 is an even number. So grey must be more than white by 250. We will now take a look at a simple model. 
starting with the grey, which is supposed to be longer than white, and the difference will be 250. We take 62,500 minus 250, that will get us 62,250. Take this number and divide by 2. That will get us 31,125. However, we need grey, so we must add back another 250. We will get 31,375 grey. To work out the percentage of the triangles that are grey, we need the fraction of grey triangles and multiply by 100%. That will be 31,375 out of 62,500 multiplied by 100% and that will get us 50.2%.